One of the most important things to become a successful footballer or consistent footballer is your adaptability. In your football life, you're gonna be going for different teams, different tryouts, playing for different coaches, playing with different players. You're gonna have different teammates on each team. Basically, your style, your talents, and things that you're really good at will have to adapt to your new team. Will have to adapt to your new coach, your teammates, basically everything that your new team is gonna require from you. Because most likely, you're not gonna be playing the exactly same style for the new team that you're going to. So the coach's expectations, your teammates' expectations from you will most likely change. Basically, the first thing is gonna change when you go to a new team, playing with a new coach is the formation. If you were playing 4-4-2, 4-3-3, that's most likely not what you're gonna be playing. Some coaches will want 4-2-3-1, some coaches will want 5-3-2 or 4-1-3-2. How do you adapt to the new formation? If you're a right winger, fullback, striker, some formations doesn't require these positions. Sometimes you're gonna need to play wing back as a winger or sometimes if you're a fullback, you're gonna need to play wing back or maybe your team plays with only one center back or with three center backs. So these are the kind of things that you need to keep in mind when you're going to a new team and you need to figure out how much do you need to adapt? What do you need to change from your playing style? Or do you need to change at all? And I guarantee you, it's gonna change. It's gonna need to change for you to actually sneak yourself into that starting 11. First of all, you need to understand your strengths. I always say this in every video. Why is your strengths and your weaknesses so important for you to make the decisions when it comes to choosing your position, choosing your new position or adapting to a new position? And this is kind of the similar thing I talked about in my previous how to choose your position video where I ask you to write down everything you're really good at and everything that you're really bad at. This kind of stuff will first of all establish can you be a winger? or can you be a fullback or can you be a striker? Knowing all these attributes that you're really good at and you're really bad at will really determine if you can adapt to the new formation. Should you even go to that new team and try out? Because if the coach expects the team to play 4-3-3 and you're actually a winger, ideally you're not really a winger in a 4-3-3 formation because you are really high where you're almost like one, two and third striker. This is why you need to understand the differences the new position would require from you. Because I'll be talking about these differences and what do you need to adapt and what could suit you better, what position could suit you better in the new formation, just leave a comment. I'll try to help you with the attributes that you'd list below. So I can actually get into more details with you and discussing in the comments. When you are going and starting with a new team, playing for a completely new coach, probably the coach will ask you a few questions right from the get-go. What position you play and what are you really good at? Before even probably watching you. So let's say you went to a new team and let's say your coach asked you what position you play. You're gonna say that you play central defensive midfielder, but the coach will come back and tell you that we don't play with central defensive midfielder. And the most likely the coach will ask you, have you ever played central midfielder before? Since the coach doesn't play with the central defensive midfielder. Your answer has to be smart. Because if you actually don't know what central midfielder needs to do on the pitch, now you're kind of lying. And the coach will actually see this. So now you're in trouble and you probably wasted a year going for a new team where you most likely won't even get to play because you don't know what the new position requires from you. This goes similar with every other position. Attacking midfielders. Some teams don't play with attacking midfielders. Some teams don't play with wingers. Some teams play with only one striker. Some teams play with three center backs. You could be a right center back, left center back or central center back. So what do you do if you always played central center back in your life with two center backs and you're one of those two center backs, but this team plays with five in the back. Now you're going to have to play as a right center back. Do you know where to be, where to stand and how to play that position? And this is the kind of stuff that you really need to learn and understand and study before going to a new team and maybe researching the new team that and understanding the positional requirements that particular coach is looking for you. This doesn't only need to be when you are changing the team. Sometimes your team's coach will also change. So now the whole team needs to adapt to the new coach and the 
the formation of the new coach. And this is why when you're watching the teams in the pre-seasons, when the teams get a new coach, sometimes a player that you might think it's great for that team might not be the best solution and best fit for that team because the new coach most likely will play with completely different formation. Are you the best fit for that position anymore? I don't think so. So this is why adaptability is significantly important as a football player. And this is why I always tell you that you can't only know your position. You need to know every other position on the pitch so you can easily adapt to the new formation that coach asks from you. Having said this, there are certain things that coach also might need to change to adapt to the new team the coach goes to. If you're a super special talent, coach might consider changing their formation according to the new team that they're going to. I hope that's the case for you because then it makes things a bit easier. This doesn't happen all the time. Most likely coaches comes with ideas when they go to the new teams. They want to keep their ideas. They want to keep their game philosophy so they don't really have to change too much from what they believe in, what works best for them. Because adaptability is incredibly important, if you're a young player, I highly recommend you studying the game, you studying each position, you studying the winger if you're a winger, the right midfielder or the wing back or even a fullback so you have more options to play. So don't limit yourself that, okay, you're really good at these attributes, you can only play winger. That's not true. You can change it, you can adapt and you can fix certain things. If you're telling me that your stamina is not good, it's a very easy thing to fix. Your first touch is not good. You can't have a bad first touch if you want to be a good footballer. Let's say you're crossing, you're passing, you're receiving the ball or your speed. Your speed is a tough one to improve, but every other attribute like passing, the first touch, your vision, your shoulder checking abilities could be improved with a very hard work. And that's what you need to figure out. Get the basics right. Get your first touch excellent, get your vision excellent, get your stamina excellent. Then everything will come. You can always improve all the other attributes. Because I get this a lot from many players where I hear I'm a right winger, I can't play there. Well, let me tell you, too bad. You're gonna have to adapt to play the new position. You can't only be restricting yourself to one position. You need to be adaptable, you need to be changing, you need to do everything to make your coach happy. And that's the goal. If you want to adapt, if you want to play in the team, the new team, the old team with new coach, you're going to need to adapt. If I go tell one of my players, uh, you're not going to be playing with attacking midfielder today. So you're going to have to drop back to central midfielder. And if my player tells me that, but my defending is not good, you're kind of done. Because I need a player that can actually play attacking midfielder position at the same time the central midfielder position. You can go and check out my playlist. I have videos for almost every position except goalkeeper. If you go and watch all these positional videos, I basically summarize the key things from each position that will help you understand that position and maybe improve your game positionally, some technically, so you can actually learn and improve this kind of stuff. Doesn't have to be my videos any videos on YouTube that potentially might help you learn something new, one thing new. That's all you need. You just need to be open to learn things. You just need to be open to adapt when you're playing football. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like, subscribe to my channel with the notifications on. You can also find my playlist right over here. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you next time.